Oberg and I'm a drawer, painter, tattoo artist, um, printmaker. I actually was trying to think of an answer to this question before and I was trying to think of a single occasion that really set me on the path as an artist. Um, you know, I, I'd say really just life, just an accumulation of life experiences that really have ended up to to where I'm at now. Um, I would say that a life principle that I live by that's really helped me get to where I'm at is just whenever an opportunity rises, not letting, not passing it up, not letting it go by. And um, I'm gonna share something with you. Uh, it's kind of a, a theory or a principle of art and life that I live by that might be able to answer that question a little bit. But it's a, an equation that I've come up with, which is uh, art equals expression, expression equals creativity, creativity equals new ideas, and new ideas equals evolution. So really, therefore, art equals evolution. So, and evolution is a process, so I feel like as long as somebody is, is striving to better themselves, you know, um, everyone's an artist, uh, I'd say, the better question to ask is why aren't I an artist and if I could answer that I know I'm not striving hard enough. The main influences in my art especially my most recent pieces would have to be anything from high classical to high baroque, um, art nouveau and being a, a tattoo artist of course traditional style tattooing. Um, in my most recent pieces I'd say Alphonse Mucha and Amon Dietzel are my two biggest inspirations and um, you know I just really try to strive to push my limits and step outside of the box and really uh, see where the creative process takes me and throughout this process you know it's it's just as rewarding to me um, than, than the final piece because it's you know throughout making a piece of art you're always learning always evolving inside the art realm and outside as a person so you know um, yeah the pieces that I'm mainly trying to expose as my artwork and especially in this raw artist uh, showing is a lot of my printmaking um, I've been doing a lot of lithography prints a lot of woodcut prints and um, just have started to dip my hands in that realm so um, I'm working on a series of kind of an older antique sideshow freak shows of the uh, old carnivals and circuses so a bearded lady um, a mermaid let's see a, a frog boy to a sword swallower a contortionist and I'm um, just trying to come up with my own my own little take on those since they are kind of you know cliche or things that have done have been done before but um and then moving to my drawings is really just trying to mix that that art nouveau with the traditional uh, tattoo style and coming up with um, the female form really intrigues me and so I'm doing a series of, of female portraits that have a little different take on them so um, also working on some pig skins uh, that you know, a lot of tattoo artists, apprenti or apprentices, for t for tattooing, they practice on pig skin because it's a lot like human skin. And um, I'm trying to take that and bring the tattoo world into the fine arts world because it's kind of a real fine line. Actually, it's not even real fine. It's it's a harsh line that tattooing's not really accepted. And I'm trying to trying to break that that whole barrier there and so I'm doing tattoos on pig skins I found out a, a mixture a, a way to preserve these pig skins and frame them so someone you know who, who might have a love for the art of tattooing but it's not necessarily for them they can still own a tattoo and hang it on their wall well I'd say my artwork is kind of categorized in two different 
two different realms. There's artwork for me and artwork for a client. And um, my favorite parts are really with the client, just building that intimate relationship between um, myself and, and them because with tattooing, it's such a permanent art form and there's a lot of trust that goes into that. And I just love taking their ideas and translating that into a tattooable image that you know they'll love and cherish for, for the rest of their lives. Um, as far as my own personal artwork, I really love just you know, expressing my emotions and thoughts that I'm experiencing at that time in my life. Um, a lot of my older artwork had a real deep meaning or, or a story behind it. Um, as with a lot of my tattoos that I've gotten, uh, I wanted it to be, you know, when I got older and had grandkids, uh, my grandkids could st just stretch my skin instead of reading them their their normal bedtime stories and ask me, what's this one about, g -paw? But, um, you know, lately a lot of my artwork has, has turned not necessarily needing a deeper meaning. Um, I really love to really just, even though I have my own underlying expressions, um, really just evoke a feeling or an emotion out of my viewer and ultimately they can conjure up their own meaning in the end, so. My goal in some pieces is to express my own thoughts and emotions that I'm experiencing at that time. Um, other pieces of my art are really just an idea that I, I have going about my everyday and, and just trying to put it down on paper or, or on skin. You can get more information about me and my work at rawartist.org backslash rooster. My name is Russ Oberg and I'm a raw artist.